Hallo. Old tales and amusing stories. The Bergsons well knew that even in the darkest of hours, they would lighten a heavy heart. And furthermore, maybe those heroes of old could teach something of their ways to the heroes of now while they listen to the trove of Grandma Margaret's stories. John. <coughs> Finding the herbalist was the most pressing matter. The healing herb needed to be taken to Mary as soon as possible. Mother. No, sorry. That's 
Very slow. Girl.
Grandma arrived in time to reveal the contents of the tablet. The secrets of Rhea are in the hearts of the stones, and for those whose weapons guard the creatures of the wild, there are new arts of war to be learned. The poor herbalist had no valuables, but the goblin's greed had now surpassed gold and jewels. Shedding tears for the dead man would serve no one now. The herbs needed to be delivered to Mary. Bye, Grandma. Take me with you, Grandma. Tired of being called shady, he's <laughs> <instead of laughs> <developing laughs> a mysterious shopkeeper. Gila bros
The air vibrated with the pilgrims' chanted prayers. Prayers offered to a deity that perhaps slumbered, unhearing, at the end of their journey. The hero did not know how many of them would survive the coming days. Eh, kentut ke busuk?
March of Faith. In the center, an object touched by the gods. hilangkan bukti Thank you. 
Mesti nak tahu correct order That is the correct order. Is it the same every time? Makan, gila kan bukti. Ni yeah, Goblin Brothers. The creature that now threatened the hero was a crudely focused inferno of hatred and malice. If one raging beast was not enough, then surely two were. Second beast became motionless. So easy. The poor creatures, twisted by the corruption, were finally able to rest. A path to be cleared of the corruption, and the jewel of life to be restored, the realm of Anea Dia, mother of beasts, and the goddess of waters. Before embarking for the spirit hall. Family must be informed of the newly opened passage. Let's go. Mark, can I use Mark? <laughs> the goblin siblings lay Hello. dead. And the pilgrims were now safer in their caves. But the last step remained to be taken. The warriors knew only that somewhere in the expanse of the caves was the ancient <laughs> halls of the spirit who would reveal new truths to them.
Mark! Mark was out of the woods now. His fever gone. He was almost up and about. Welcome back, brother, said Kevin. He had avoided conflict over the years, living in harmony with nature, but as Uncle Ben was fond of saying, a Bergson would forget how to walk before they forget how to fight. Monk! Fighter! Can I use you, boy? Whenever he could find time, Mark was reading about herbs and salves, his interest in medicine inherited from his grandmother. Let's go. 
The first guest to be summoned, Anai Daya, was to be found in the darkest depths of the Keldipo Caves. For a spirit to leave her domain, though, was no simple task. I need to fight this spirit. Mm. Maki boy. Maki boy, they believe how to heal. But the monk. I believe he's more. Four steps were to be taken in the correct order. Is it the same order? Okay, win. Okay. 
Kevin datang. Can I save in the middle of the dungeon? Sebabaliti lagi bagus ni.
Oh no, man. Keep my light. Mati, mak. Hahaha. Do mak. Kevin juga yang best. Fighter kot. Making mistakes was part of learning, no matter how talented you are. Lucy was feeling disheartened. Once more, she had better mastery of fire this time. But wait, disaster was about to happen. <laughs> Thankfully, her father intervened in time. <laughs> Lucy. <coughs> Everybody was worried about Anaya Dyer's stone sentinel that they would probably have to face on their quest. Can fire even harm stone? Lucy asked intently. Kevin was having similar thoughts about the alloy Uncle Ben had used to forge his daggers. Ya Allah Alhamdulillah Dia akan berterusan Ya Allah Oh Bye-bye, Johnny. <laughs>